celebration of the 8th grade graduating class of 2012. I am honored to speak on behalf of my 8th grade class and share our journey throughout the years of middle school. I would first like to thank you, our parents, for sending us to an amazing school where we were able to excel academically while growing in our spiritual walk with the Lord. I would also like to thank the teachers for caring for us and loving us, no matter how crazy we act during class, as well as encouraging us to grow in our spiritual walk. All the teachers have had a major influence in my life and have helped shape me into the person who I am today. Mr. Duvall has personally influenced my spiritual life by having us do the Lord Change My Attitude study written by Pastor James. Through this study and Mr. Duvall's teachings, I really grew in my walk with the Lord. I love how this school we can go to any teacher with a burden we have in our heart and know that they will encourage us and help us through whatever trial and lift us up in prayer. We appreciate all the hard work you have put into our lives the past few years from when we were sixth graders to now. I remember having Mrs. Martin as a teacher for English and Lit. I am still wondering how she had enough patience to handle all of us as sixth graders for two periods in a row. Trying to master all Mr. Kedrian's sayings was a challenge that took a while to get used to, but they really applied to my life. Mr. Kedrian, I also loved having you as a Bible teacher for half the year and all of our interesting Bible talks we had during class. Mrs. Smith is a teacher who will always make me laugh because of her personality, and thank you for helping me become a better writer. <laughs> Mrs. Malugin, thank you for loving me and helping me become a better... Thank you for loving me and being my band teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Lopez, thank you for putting up with our class, from the guy that was being crazy with their tapping, or our pointless random comments, to teaching and having patience with us even when we are being difficult. Finally, Ms. Cox, thank you for being a teacher who I can trust and go to whenever I am struggling. I remember the first day of middle school when we had to figure out our locker, our locker combinations. American History Idol was one of my favorite memories of middle school. I love seeing everyone step out of our comfort zones and come up with creative songs. Who knew you could come up with a whole song about Teddy Roosevelt? <laughs> Mr. C, you've been making me laugh since I was only two years old. You are an amazing history teacher, and you have made me learn to love and study history. Coming in first place in the ACSI volleyball tournament was a remarkable experience that bonded all the girls on the team and taught us the true meaning of teamwork. Ms. Lamb and Mr. Johnson, you encouraged me to be a better volleyball player, and I loved having you as coaches. The eighth grade trip was a memory I am positive no one will ever forget. From going down the tornado slide over and over to feeling like you're going to die on the ropes course at the Kalahari. One of my favorite memories from the 8th grade trip was going down the tornado slide with Mrs. Martin and Rebecca Sobolewski. <laughs> the whole time we were going down, we were all screaming, and when we came out, Mrs. Martin said, I was not expecting that first drop. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Kalahari and the Great Floods were very incredible. From celebrating every time someone got a strike in bowling, to racing each other in bumper cars, to looking at baby lions, otters, and kangaroos. I love that there was so much downtime to really get to know each other and form stronger bonds with one another. I personally loved wearing the moose hats and ant the moose antlers and Viking hats. <laughs> More importantly, I love seeing the spiritual side of our group. Every night we gather in Mrs. Martin and Miss Cox's room and pray together. I love seeing our class become unified and share what's happening in our lives and hearts and lifting up our burdens and praises to the Lord. Our class also had a lot of great memories outside of school. We had a lot of fun playing Just Dance 3 at Adam and Jackson's birthday party, and Worldly Ball was very entertaining to watch because of our lack of skill, which resulted in constantly running into the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget the reaction of my classmates when we jumped out of our seats when the wolves appear as we watched the Hunger Games together. Throughout all of our fun, our class has really grown together over the past three years. A few of us have had the privilege of being here together since we were in first grade in 2004. Hopefully many of us will graduate together four years from now. I encourage you, my fellow graduates too, as we're entering high school to stay strong in the Lord. Throughout high school, you need to be an example for everyone else to follow. 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be an example for other believers in your speech, behavior, love, faithfulness, and purity. We need to be a class who builds up each other and does not tear one another down. A class who stands out from all of the classes by the love we have for each other and the love we have for the Lord that shines through us in everything that we do. In the next four years, we will be tested through many trials. I would like to encourage you not to give in to the influences the world places on you, but turn to the Lord and what his word promises you. 
This evening marks the end of our middle school journey together. I would like to thank you, my eighth grade class, for making me laugh even when I wanted to cry. Always having my back, no matter what happened, and creating memories with me that will last a lifetime. Thank you for encouraging me to grow in my walk with the Lord and inspiring me to do great things. I love you all very much, and may God bless you through your high school years. High school, here we come. <laughs>